Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Mark from Cricket Bat Info and today we've got what you can see here is a Robinson Sports Pro Edition. Now this particular bat's been sent to me by David over in Tasmania. So this bat was actually purchased by Ajdal over in Pakistan and he did the swap with David for that B3 Finch that I've reviewed. I'll post a link up to the top right corner now, you can click on it if you want to see that, but I really want you to stay on this review. So what we have here is a Pro Edition. Now these actually sell at Muleman's. Um, they're all around 210 according to the website. Uh, I've actually had some assistance with this particular review by a gentleman called Ravish. And Ravish asked me to plug his Facebook page. It's R4S Sticks. So he does um, repairs and maintenance. He's over in uh, Sydney. I'll put his link in the description. So yeah, uh, Muleman's actually sell these. I don't know if it's this particular profile. And as you can see here, this one's already scuffed and edge taped. And why is that? Well, that's because I've actually reviewed this several times. And as I start to get used to my new system, I keep making mistakes. So in this case, I copied my post knock over the top of my pre knock, destroying my pre knock video. So now I'm just gonna do one video. So this particular grain, as you can see, it's a lovely looking bat. It's got some heartwood down the right hander's outside edge. I have oiled this and you can see here, that's the shugu toe there. Um, grains are a bit skewed. I did oil that first before I put the shugu toe on. Just put that back a bit so you can see it. Actually, I'll put it in this one here. So I did oil it a bit. So it's got a little bit of darkness. You can see the grains going through the toe before I actually um, put that shugu toe on. The oiling process and knock-in process that I use is documented. It's on the channel. I'll put the link in the top right corner now, but stay on the video. You can go back to it after. Um, generally, when I oil a bat, I leave it for a good five days before I even touch it now. Uh, and that just seems to get the best results out of it. Uh, especially, um, you want that oil to really soften the bat. So the bat came uh, pretty much in the state you're seeing now. I've just added my two little stickers in the scuff sheet. It did have a little tiny dent here at the back. I've tried to get that out. Um, but all in all, the finishing on it is really nice. Uh, I haven't done any extra polishing or anything like that. That's just as it is. And it does look lovely, doesn't it? So we've got here grade one plus bat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 grains straight across the front, becoming narrower towards the right-handers inside edge, making that area a little bit uh, stronger, perhaps, and maybe better ping. Uh, but right through the center there, it's gonna really ping off. Obviously, I've already uh, prepared this, so I know how it actually goes. Um, the profile is pretty unique, isn't it? So basically, what they've done is made sure that they've just gone within the standard. So you can see here, We've got slightly less than a five millimeter face, probably around four. And the spine peaks just under 65, edges peak at 40. And the width of the bat is perfect, four and a quarter inches. There's nothing sinister going on here. Uh, the stickers themselves, they're sort of, well, they're sort of embossed. I wouldn't say they're anything sort of special, but I mean, they do look all right, don't they? So, not too much going on, not too much noise, which I like. Showing plenty of the bat. Uh, black and silver looks good. Now, I did comment, I was worried about this grain skewing off, but, but these toes are really thick. That toe is over 30 millimeters in the center and 28 on the edge. So it is massive. Um, so I'm not really too worried, even at that point there, there's another oh, 16 mil at least of, of toe to go. So it's not gonna fall apart or anything like that. Nice thick shoulders, 16 mil here too. And it's just a beast of a profile, isn't it? Really big. It's got some bow to it. Probably mid high sort of bow coming through here. The definitely what this profile is all about is extending your sweet spot up and down the blade. Uh, from a virtually just above low position up until a high position. So 
Yeah, so dead right in the centre there is its sweet spot, um, which is a good position for Australian wickets too, giving an amateur plenty of area to hit through this area here. Uh, so you can see here, there's a little bit of bubbling here on stickers. Uh, there's not really a lot you can do with that. Uh, it just happens. The handle shape itself is a beautiful oval, slightly semi-oval, but more towards oval. I have added underneath this grip for the owner, a bit of tennis racket outer grip. So this is that outer grip you see on tennis rackets. I start here and I wrap around, just slightly overlapping till I get to about here, and then I just put the tape on. So that adds probably about 0.3 of an ounce to the total weight, uh, depending on the outer grip. This is a better quality one that I had available. So originally when I did weigh this, it was dead on 210. And now it is on 211. So with the oiling, the scuff, that extra bit of grip there, we've added an ounce. That's the toe guard that I easily tore off. Um, so 211 now, but in my hands, I commented when I knocked it in, it felt like 28 and it hasn't changed. It, it feels like a really lovely light pickup bat. And that's purely because this weight is extending up towards the hands, giving you a higher center of gravity in the profile and uh, making its pickup really nice. Um, so we'll put that there for a second and I'll just read you a little bit that Ravish got for me. Founded in 1937 by the late Mr. H.S. Jolly. They manufacturing all sorts of things from cricket balls to cricket bats, soft leather protective equipment, boxing, kit bags. This seems to be right off the website. Their cricket balls, the RS Recorder Cricket Ball, was the first Indian made cricket ball approved for Indian League in 1949, followed by the RS Duke of Windsor. That's the bag that it came in. As far as the bag's concerned, look, it's thick. It offers really nice protection. Um, it's the full coffin style with decent protection there. Um, but I don't know, I just think that looks a bit cheap. I would have rather have seen some sort of embossing or something there. And the, and the printing on there, I don't know if you can see that, but it's not the greatest. So, but anyway, um, you can see they're handmade with passion. So let's compare it with the other bat. So I'll bring in the bat that I should have used on the weekend, but I used the chase and the chase wasn't really ready. So we'll tap this one up. Got the other camera angle going, so you should be able to see it on a wider angle. So remember what you're looking for is rebound. The sound quality may change as I try to edit out artifacts. So what you're hearing may not be what I'm hearing right now. So that one pings like a gun because it's well used. This one has been knocked in, so we'll start at the toe. So you can see there from a high position, mid-high, mid, even off centre, going through to a mid low, down into that low position, toe nice and hard, and that bat is ready to net. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. Um, I was really impressed. Tell me in the comments what you thought about the review, uh, what you think about Robinson Sports, if you've had any experiences with the bat. I'd really love to hear from you to contribute to the conversation. Keep it going in the comments. If you like the video, please hit like on the YouTube video uh, and please subscribe to the channel, the YouTube channel. You can also um, like the Facebook page. The link is in the description to that. Uh, but I'm scaling back a little bit on the Facebook page, just doing minor announcements. Uh, I'm not doing the photo albums anymore. I'm trying to put all my work and effort into this, the videos, which is what you guys really want to see. From now on, I'm going to try and uh, make it a habit of every Sunday night you'll get a new video review. So for the owners, that may not be, they'll probably get their bats back before uh, the review comes out. But for you, 
uh, you'll definitely see a new review every week, uh, at least up until Christmas, because I've got enough bats here to do it. So once again, thanks very much, David. Robinson Sports Pro Edition.